Wasn't that fantastic? Um, yesterday, for the very first time, we launched a swag store. If you want to get a t-shirt or a number of other little gifts, uh, just go to swag.websummit.com. So incredible engineers and entrepreneurs from around the world are coming to work in Portugal. Meanwhile, incredible Portuguese entrepreneurs are building companies all over the world. All of you have traveled from across the world to be in Portugal for the next week. And so we've invited two extraordinary entrepreneurs to tell you a little bit more about Portugal. Please welcome, in conversation with Filomena Cautela of RTP, Michelle Zatlin, founder of Cloudflare, which recently went public on the New York Stock Exchange, and Portugal's very own Daniela Braga, founder of Define Crowd. Daniela and Michelle, you have, to, you have to allow me this. Make some noise, Web Summit! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Done. Check. Thank you. <laughs> it was a dream come true. Is that from Eurovision? Yes, of course. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it's it's a reminiscence. It's, coming all, it's all coming back to me. Uh, first of all, I'm going to open with a question um, just to explain a little bit who, who am I with. Uh, is it fair, ladies, Michelle and Daniela, is it fair to say that I'm talking with possibly the two first women to become self-made billionaires in their own countries. <laughs> oh, uh, was it too strong? Sorry. We, is it, we, we is agreed, it fair to say? We agreed that we were not going to talk about this. Yes, yes. But is it, is it fair to say? Is it true? Uh, not billionaires yet, but probably millionaires. Right. Uh, well, Cloudflare is a public company now, so you can easily go look up my, my share in the company and, and, our, and our market cap. Um, I mean, I think for us, Cloudflare, we're working on a really big problem. We're very long-term focused. We've yes. been building Cloudflare for nine years, and I think that every day our whole team shows up every day to build an iconic company that solves real problems for our customers. And while I'm so proud of what we've accomplished, we're just getting started. And so, I mean, I think if you do the math, it's a possibility sometime in the far, far distance. And but so it is true. It's, <laughs> it, it, it is a possibility. It is right. in the art of possibility. We have very little time, so I just wanted to say, Michelle, uh, when, I was, uh, when I was reading your bio, your bio is absolutely fascinating, and I wanted to share with all of you t uh, today. Um, Michelle uh, creates products people love. I love this. She has been named one of the top women to watch in technology by the Huffington Post and Inc. Magazine. We should totally hang out, by the way. <laughs> uh, Co-founder and COO of Cloudflare, uh, of course, was selected by the the Wall Street Journal as the most innovative internet technology company two years running and named a technology pioneer by the World Economic Forum. Today, Cloudflare accelerates and protects more than two million web properties and it's moving its engineering division from North America to Lisbon. Is it true? That's true. Yeah, no, it's we. So we're about 11. That, thank you for those very kind words. Um, uh, we have 1,100 people around the world and we have a we had a big office in London, and we started to look out in San Francisco, Austin, Texas, London, and we started to say, where else could we build an engineering hub? And we actually did a survey of 45 cities across Europe in the EMEA region. Yes, yeah, so why Lisbon? Uh, and originally, Lisbon wasn't on the top. <laughs> if I had, when we started the project, I never thought Lisbon would have been the city we selected. <laughs> but through good due diligence, it kept becoming, wow, Lisbon's really interesting. The talent is amazing here. Both. Engineers, the universities are incredible here, the local talent, all the Portuguese who have left um, to other countries around the world, the diaspora who want to come back. Yeah. Uh, the government has made some really great policies to encourage those folks internationally to come back through attractive in income tax reductions. And they've also made really um, attractive policies for non-Portuguese who want to come live in this beautiful country with yeah. incredible weather. So by the end, we were basically saying, Lisbon is like the Bay Area 50 years ago. High quality of life, incredible talent, the next heart of innovation in, in Europe, and we want to bet on it. And, and so Pastel is not a, this was a local joke. <laughs> oh. See? Nobody gets, I Very got few it, Portuguese I got people here. <laughs> uh, uh, Daniela, uh, actually, actually, you were born in Portugal. 
and studied, made my basic formation here. Yep. So Daniela, for all of us, uh, for all of you to know, is the founder and CEO of Define Crowd, one of the fastest growing startups in the AI space, has deep expertise in speech science, it is one of the world leaders of crowdsourcing uh, adoption in large enterprises. Dr. Braga, I love to call you Dr. Braga, it's so <laughs> cool, created the data science team and shipped voice-enabled products for clients like Samsung, Toyota, introduced crowdsourcing for big data data solutions and restructured the engineering, engineering sorry, infrastructure around data collection, processing, ingestion, instrumentation, and discoverability. I'm pretending I know what I'm talking <laughs> about, but uh, it's, really, it's really amazing. So why Portugal, Daniela? This is, this is the main Well, uh, first because I am Portuguese, and if I started, I started my company in Seattle, where I live for eight years. But I knew that my product had to be built in Portugal because the tech talent is here. I know the quality of the universities. Uh, there w we were very lucky to be supported in, from the beginning by the government, by Startup Lisboa. There's an amazing ecosystem here. And um, machine learning, speech, uh, speech talent, natural, uh, natural language processing, software developer engineers, product are all here. It's completely, we're sell to Fortune 500 companies with pro a product made in Portugal. That's amazing. So is it true that your company defined, pro yes, thank you. Yes, yes, indeed, <laughs> indeed. Uh, is it true that uh, actually your um, d diversity is really re is a real reality in your in your company? Because is it true that there's 42% women in a world that maybe in tech there's like what 5% 2%? I live in a, I come from a, a world of engineers. I'm always the only woman in the room since I'm 22. <laughs> um, and in reality, my company is 42% of women, and we are not doing it on purpose. Yes. It's just do it. It's happening. Yes, all over the world. In our five offices already, everywhere people come to work because I I suppose that they feel that they can be whoever they are, and the sky is the limit in our company. Congratulations, Michelle. Do you live this reality as well? One of the things um, our CTO was based in in London. He's here tonight. Hi, John. And he came to meet a lot of, well, before we made our decision to come to Lisbon. Came and met a lot of tech co tech company startups here in Lisbon to see like what it's like on the ground. You know, you kind of do your your paper research, but wanted to see what it was really like um, building a company here. And one thing that he noticed when he went to visit all these these tech companies in in Lisbon was like, wow they are light years ahead in diversity. They have diverse teams, the diversity of talent. He just said it was just so noticeable compared to what he had seen both in London and in San Francisco. So I think that's a real testament to the country and the universities and, and, and to creating opportunities well, for you. everyone. So thank you very amazing. much, Miss. Uh, Michelle, I wanted to ask you as well, what's the one thing, actually this was, this was a question you gave me. Okay. Uh, what's the one thing you think huh. everyone sitting in these chairs should know. The thing is, what do you, did, did you wish to know when you were sitting in one of these chairs? Sure, I have two. When I was sitting in your chair nine years ago, was starting my company, uh, the rate at which you learn is a founder's best asset. Nobody knows what they're doing on day one, but the faster you can learn, the better off you'll be. The best founders are like sponges, high rate of learning. And the second thing, which is very, very appropriate for, for 2019, is corporate governance is cool. So take it seriously. <laughs> Very good piece of advice. Thank you, Michelle. Daniela, do you have some advice for everyone sitting here tonight and hearing us? Pick your investors wisely. Mm. Don't, let, don't let them pick you. Um, and uh, rule by, not rule, but lead by model. Do it, what, do exactly what you expect your people to do. Don't expect them to just create without seeing it. I guess those are my two cents. <laughs> Ladies, it was truly an honor to be with you. It was truly an honor to meet you today. We had eight minutes to talk. If, if it, this wasn't WebSenat, I would say this was a quickie, but it was. Uh, so thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And have a nice Web Summit. It will be amazing. <laughs> thank you so much. It was an thank honor. You. Thank you. Oh, yeah.